Hi there, I'm Tony. I'm a truck driver from Auckland and I'm here to show you about a few tips and tricks I've learned from the Safe Ed program to help you drive in a safe and fuel efficient manner. These days, vehicles are designed and manufactured to deliver a high level of performance and fuel economy. But you, the driver, have a huge impact on this performance and fuel efficiency. This DVD is aimed to help you maximise efficiencies out of your vehicle, whatever type, make or operation you're employed in. Benefits apply to trucks, buses or even your own car. As you all know, a driver's pre-check is an important part of your safety in every working day. There are also several things that affect fuel efficiency. Where one is fitted, ensure your air deflector is set correctly. If not, get your fleet manager to get it set for you. Also, your cab gap. Ensure that's kept to a minimum. If your vehicle doesn't have air deflectors, encourage your fleet manager to have them fitted. Studies have shown this can save up to 21% of total fuel used. Now's a good time to check our fuel. Get into the habit of filling to the base of the neck. Filling to the base of the neck is filling to a consistent level. It also means fuel won't slosh out. Most importantly, check the condition of your tyres. Looking for damage, inflation, tread depth. Also check your cap and that there are no wheel nuts missing. The CVIU are cracking down on tyres, so if you've got non-compliant tyres, this could land your vehicle off the road or with you having heavy fines. And so remember, check all the wheels. It's a good idea to check your load. Truck loading code is a handy reference to carry out this check. On completion of your walk around, check for any damage or anything amiss. And lastly, stand back from your vehicle. Check the way the vehicle is sitting and if there is any fluid leaks. If the vehicle is out of line or unevenly balanced, this could seriously affect your fuel efficiency. So now we've finished our external checks, it's time to check a few things inside the cab, like our seat belt and fire extinguisher. And now we're ready to start the engine. Check our gauges. Now is also a good time to check our lights. You're going to have to get out of the cab and do a walk around to check those lights, but also listen for air leaks. Check our wipers and washers. And how the horn works. And don't forget, lastly but most importantly, your seat adjustment. As we pull away, it's always a good idea to check, make sure there's not excessive smoke coming out of the exhaust, and also, of course, that your foot brakes work. Better to find out now than before you need them on the road. So OAP, observation, anticipation, planning. So we're observing what's ahead of us, anticipating the change in circumstances, and planning for what we can do about that. Starting off from a complete stop, in the first zero to eight kilometers, you use 19% of your fuel. So if we can keep the road wheels moving, we're gonna be saving that 19% in fuel. At all times, we are planning to go, but preparing to stop. So we observe the light going red up there. A lot of people would have accelerated up to those lights. We've just eased off. We're slowly coming up to those lights, anticipating that by the time we get to those lights, they will have changed back to green. There they go. We can keep those wheels rolling. We've not wasted any time. We've certainly not wasted any fuel. We used our AP again. We've got roadworks. We've got a guy in the middle of the road. We've just backed off. Changing down a gear. Remember, the object is to keep these road wheels turning. He's moved out of our way. We can just ease past. We've got a uh, parked truck in the middle of the road here. We've got cars pulling out on the left hand side. We've got pedestrians on our right. We've got a pedestrian crossing. This is where we really need to be using those skills. We've not had to change our speed or RPMs. We're just easing through. We're using OAP. It might seem like it's going to take you a lot longer to get your job done, but in actual fact, your timing is very similar. And in some cases, it can be a lot quicker simply by keeping the road wheels moving. Perfect scenario for skip shifting here. Uh, we've got a clear, straight road. We can dismiss out gears. Taking full gears at the moment, we're reducing the stress on ourselves and the vehicle by not having to go through every gear in the gearbox. At the same time, keeping the revs low in the green band. 
is our most fuel efficient part of the spectrum. Okay, so we're about to approach motorway now, so we can see we've got an intersection here. Using OAP to check to see if that intersection is clear, anticipating that we can go. Not have to change gear there, we've just come straight through. Keeping our revs in the low band, I've already checked the motorway to see what our oncoming vehicles are looking like. Looks reasonably clear for us. So we'll be building up to speed. Obviously still maintaining those RPMs in the green band. You can see that there's no vehicles coming up behind us now. We've just joined that motorway nice and easily. 